have been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore, the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off, you will receive the exceeding abundance above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Portion. This is Catherine Joy Foster. And the theme of our program today is resting in God's works. In Psalm 145, the ninth verse from the Living Bible, it says, He is good to everyone and his compassion is intertwined with everything he does. And in the King James Version, it says, The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. When we think of compassion, it says this, that God's desire is to help you more than you even want to be helped. We want to leave you with this thought that when we abide in the presence of heaven, not earth, not hell, our perception will begin to change so that we can receive the supernatural intervention from God that causes us to receive more from favor than labor. I'll be back after this message from our sponsor. Plan to stay tuned for the entire program today. Catherine Joy Foster Music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry. In your discovery, you will find the power of God present to go where you are, to take you where Jesus is, raising you up, repairing you, restoring you, so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. Now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is resting in God's works. We learn how to abide in the presence of heaven, not earth, not hell. So our perception is changed so that we can receive the supernatural intervention from God that causes us to receive more from favor than labor. So for that to happen, we have to understand how God works. Psalm 111th division from the voice translation gives us God's resume. Praise the eternal. I will thank him with all my heart. In the presence of his right standing and with the assembly, the works of the eternal are many and wondrous. They are examined by all who delight in them. His work is marked with beauty and majesty. His justice has no end. His wonders are reminders that the eternal is gracious and compassionate to all. He provides food to those who revere him. He will always remember his covenant. He has shown the mighty strength of his works to his people by giving the land of foreign nations to them. All his accomplishments are truth and justice. All his instructions are certain. His precepts will continue year in and year out, performed by his people with honesty and truth. He has redeemed his people, guaranteeing his covenant forever. His name is holy and awe-inspiring. Reverence for the eternal is the first step 
toward wisdom. All those who worship him have a good understanding. His praise will echo through eternity. So now we could see that his resume is full of truth and honor and covenant keeping. So we have to understand that even though things that we experience may not seem exact and they may seem grievous they may seem sorrowful and sometimes we always have to keep God innocent because he always has our good in mind on our program today you can enjoy the music of Bick Cleave. Now let's welcome them as he sings, Clap Your Hand. Praise God. How you doing, Myra? What's up, Sea Life? I'm blessed. Well, look, let's celebrate God's abundance on this song. Come on. Clap, clap your hands, we clap, clap your hands, we clap, clap your hands. If you're happy, then you know it. We clap, clap your hands, we clap, clap your hands, we clap, clap your hands, we clap, clap your hands. My daddy said, rise and shine. And be happy with this life of mine. So I'm about to dress fly like the holiday. Them gray skies just passed away. Sit low at the store, we about to graduate. And traffic seen low riding 28s. Take praising God on a customized place. Through the city as I ride, seeing people parlay. Yes, I want a taste of that cake, Miss May. Her trade doing great overseas in Kuwait. Well, for me, Walking in faith that God has a plan for sea like he got some ray. Yeah, I heard he is doing okay. Plus, Eve got a job at a bank called Chase. Bill has an announcement to make drop game. See the plane where you marry me, Kate. Clap, clap your hands, we 
clap, clap your hands, we clap, clap your hands, we clap, clap your hands. us on the web at blog.kingsportionlive.com. That's blog.kingsportionlive.com. Welcome back to King's Portion, where the theme of our program again is resting in God's works. We said this, is that when we abide in the presence of heaven, not earth, not hell, our perception will be changed so we can receive the supernatural intervention from God that causes us to receive more from favor than labor. In the Hebrew, we find that works means it's a transaction, it's an activity, it's a business. And what it does is shows that actually it's finished. It means to advance, to bear, bestow, bring forth, have charge of, be ready, finish, industrious, sacrificial, serve, thorough. He would be the workman and the warrior. What that shows is that God's works Manifest so you can see that his works are incomparable, irresistible, unforgettable, undisputable, irreplaceable, indispensable, incontestable, unstoppable, irreversible, irrevocable, inexhaustible, unquestionable, and not only that is that he never calls off. So his work for us is finished. So to us, his work is uninterrupted. In Psalm 74 and the 12th verse, it says, For God is my king of old, working salvation in the midst of of the earth. Now in Hebrew, that word working means that God works systematically and habitually in the earth. I will be back after this message from our sponsor. Plan to stay tuned for the rest of our program today after this message. I was just standing there basking in the sun and all of a sudden I was soaking wet. There wasn't a sign in the sky, so I was unprepared without an umbrella. But in the end, it just didn't matter. I loved every minute of it. I knew I was living under open heavens. It really does give new meaning to being overtaken by blessing, not a dry spot. This is Fran the Fan of H-D-O-R. Uh-oh, here comes the rain again. You've been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Welcome back to King's Portion where the theme again is resting in God's works as we abide in the presence of heaven, not earth, not hell. It changes our perception so that we can receive the supernatural intervention from God which causes us to receive more from his favor than our 
labor. We said this, that we know how God works. He works through his compassion. That means he wants to help us more than we desire to be helped. We also know that we can rest in his works because he never calls off. There is no breach in how he works for us. And we know that they are finished works, just waiting for us to receive. God can and will work for us, but this is what happens when we give God permission to work in us. We're going to look in Ephesians, the third chapter, the 20th and the 21st verses from the J.B. Phillips New Testament. And it reads, Now to him who by his power within us is able to do far more than we ever dare to ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church through Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. So we see that we are God's target in the earth so he can have full expression. Now let's look at another verse from Philippians, the second chapter, the 12th and the 13th verses. And it's also from the Phillips translation. And it says, God is himself at work within us. So then, my dearest friends, as you have always followed my advice and that not only when I was present to give it. So now that I am far away, be keener than ever to work out the salvation that God has given you with the proper sense of all and responsibility. For it is God who is at work within you, giving you the will and the a power to achieve his purpose. So that means we're giving God the right of way. And that is our responsibility. And we should be in awe of that. He has chosen us to be his intimate friend in the earth. So that he could do those mighty miracles in us, through us, and for us. Again, on our program today, that you can enjoy the music of Big Cleave. Now let's welcome him as he sings Jesus at the door. Jesus at the door trying to pay you a visit. Jesus at the door trying to pay you a visit. Who is it? Jesus at the door trying to pay you a visit. Who is it? Jesus at the door trying to pay you a visit. Nobody knows the day, nobody knows the hour when the door will appear. In his almighty power, it might be too late to clean. Doorbell might ring. Too late to sweep the flow, see him in the peephole. If he wasn't such a stranger, you would let him in. But you'd rather be with anger when the sin's best friends. Last night you and Gree had to have a poker game. No wonder you ain't hear him when the doorbell rang. See, Lust came through in your party till five. You didn't hear your name, he was calling you outside. And lies spent the night, yeah, he telling you wrong. As the story goes on, you missed another ding dong. Envy in the kitchen, jealousy in the basement, strife in the attic, yeah, this whole house hating. Lord ain't gonna keep waiting, he'll bring the demolition. Get Satan out the closet, he wanna pay you a visit. Who is it? Jesus at the door trying to pay you a visit. Who is it? Jesus at the door trying to pay you a visit. 
patience, gotta manage my tempo, gotta handle my payments, gotta take out the trash, gotta do house chores, see my body is a temple and it belongs to the Lord, I'ma live with love, let me kick anger out, envy, jealousy and greed, y'all too gotta bounce, lies also gotta go, say and leave you evicted, I don't wanna hear it, this the dwelling of the spirit, I'ma pay my dough red, when disaster arise, and foundations fail, I'm still standing high, keep building on the word, got my tar, got my pitch, when the flood waters peak, I'm floating on top of it, no this house ain't sand, no this house ain't wood, yeah this house is made of bricks, so this house is standing good, behold, Jesus standing at the door knocking, so what y'all gonna do? for staying tuned to King's Portion where the theme of our program again is resting in God's works. When we abide in the presence of heaven, not earth, not hell, our perception is changed so that we can receive the supernatural intervention from God which causes us to receive more from favor then labor. He said that we have a responsibility. God already wants to work for us and can work for us and will work for us and through us. But our responsibility can be found in Colossians, the first chapter, the 28th and the 29th verses. And this is from the Phillips translation. And it reads, to preach and teach Christ is everything to us. So naturally we proclaim Christ. We warn everyone we meet and we teach everyone we can all that we know about him so that if possible, we may bring every man up to his full maturity in Christ. This is what I am working at all the time with all the strength that God gives me. We see here that there is a determined purpose, our focus, that we are the extension of the body of Christ in that we are extending a love to the world. Because then when we awake, we'll be like Christ because we are attached to the head. And the head is Jesus Christ. Which means that the more mature that we become, the more glory that we will experience because we'll be rising to the occasion of perfection in God's work. And we do that by representing Christ to the world. So you may say, well, I have a whole lot of flaws, a whole lot of brokenness, a whole lot of things missing and lacking. Well, what do I do? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. All you need to do is ask Jesus Christ into your heart to be the Lord and Savior of 
your life. And everything flows from the head, which is Jesus Christ. Say this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and I need to be saved by grace. Not by works, lest any man should boast. And I know that you have made a place for me in your body. Forgive me of every sin. Come into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I am now cleansed by your blood and am the newest creation in the body of Christ. Old things have passed away and now all things are new. And I thank you for my salvation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Now, if you said that prayer, why don't you email us at info at kingsportionlive.com. That's info at kingsportionlive.com. And we will send you some encouragement along the way. Now, let's return to remaining portions of King's Portion after this message from our sponsor. We invite you to visit our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org. That's www.kingsportionlive.org. We believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of King's Portion today, which bears the theme, Resting in God's Works. As we abide in the presence of heaven, not earth, not hell. We change our perception so that we can receive the supernatural intervention from God, which causes us to receive more from favor than labor. In Galatians, the third chapter and the fifth verse, it says, does God who gives you his spirit and works miracles among you do these things because you have obeyed the law or because you have obeyed the gospel? Ask yourself that. So it's not by law. It's not by obedience to that law, but it is obedience to the law of faith that we receive the miracles of God because he works in us. Now we don't want inhibit God to work in us, through us, for us. We want him to work and do his works and show that they are active, operative, effectual, powerful, fervent, until there is nothing left to be done in our lives, knowing this, that God's works are finished and he's just waiting for you to receive so that you can rest in his love. This is Catherine Joy Foster for King's Portion where we speak to the royal blood in you. have been listening to the king's portion with radio host katherine joy foster today's podcast is available for download log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com